Well, hello. Welcome to all of you out there on the interwebs. This is Tom Jackson with Jackson Systems. I'm really excited today. We're doing something I don't think we've ever done. I've got two of our great partners with us today, and we're going to talk about uh, a cool way that they can actually work together. So uh, as a starting point, I'm going to bring each of them up. First, we've got uh, Michelle Larson with Diverse Tech. How are you doing? Hi, Tom. How are you? Doing? Oh, we got the, all, the <laughs> official COVID <laughs> handshake. We're, here we go. And uh, next up, back by popular demand, supposedly. That's what he tells us anyway. Gary with Residio, who I think is pretty much on every video we produce now. <laughs> so, uh, but we are going to talk about how uh, both of uh, these two vendor partners work together on a really cool way that you, the HVAC contractor, can implement in your installation and provide even more information to your homeowners. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Michelle and Gary. I, I invited Michelle here today because um, I have a lot of contractors that, that take your product and hook them to our Prestige um, or our Redlink 8000 with the, with the interface module. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is uh, take something that's awesome and pair it with something else that's awesome. So we're making it smart. We're making it smart. And peanut butter is awesome, but when you dump your chocolate in it, it becomes even more awesome, right? So we're mm -hmm. going to put the peanut butter and the chocolate so here's here. here's the chocolate and there's your peanut yep. butter? So, <laughs> That's exactly right, or however you want. So um, I'm going to show uh, everybody how to take your product and put it on my product here, okay? Okay. This is a flood prevention switch for the drain lines. Yep. So if your drain line clogs, um, this will shut the system off as well. Gotcha. So we have a CS1, which is for auxiliary, and um, and this one is, the CS2 is just for auxiliary lines. Gotcha. But the other is CS1 is for auxiliary line. and main line. It can do both. Awesome. And they're dry contacts. So yes. they uh, typically, a contractor would break the red wire, right, uh, between the, um, uh, and then go down the float, the drain pan and or, or through the, the condensate line. Mm -hmm. So what, um, instead of breaking the red wire, right, which is, uh, um, just killing the power to everything. Now that we've got Redlink and Wi-Fi thermostats out there and stuff, killing that power is not the best thing because when a homeowner gets an alert, they wouldn't know what uh, the alert was. It would just be you lost power at your mm -hmm. furnace or your heat pump or whatever. So what, um, if, you, if you use the Redlink uh, system uh, and tie your, um, your float switches directly into this instead of breaking the red, then I can choose a system shutdown feature that shuts the system down so it uh, doesn't allow water to be produced and flood. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, 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 your product's still doing its job. Mm -hmm. But my thermostat's going to send out an email to the homeowner and the contractor and tell them that, hey, it's 10 o'clock, um, you're at work right now, and uh, 40 miles away where you live, um, is uh, the heat isn't running or the mm -hmm. cooling isn't running. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna set uh, sh uh, do a screenshot and set one up for you okay. and show you how easy this I'll is. I'll leave that up to here. Uh, and I'm gonna go that. take the peanut butter and the chocolate with me while he shows you how to do it. Awesome. Thank you. So um, when you get, uh, your prestige would be on the wall at your house um, or your Redlink 8000. It has to have the, the interface module that, that Tom sells here. So the interface module goes down at the furnace. So these wet switches of Michelle's are easily wired in because they're usually in the same area, right? So this is uh, uh, Michelle's uh, uh, WSK1. Did I say that correctly? Um, and a little hockey puck. So I can, wherever I'm going to put that in the space, it's going to be an easy wiring. It's just going to be the power. Um, you got to power it. And then you got a normally open or normally closed contact source there. So I can get my power uh, and I can um, um, tie in my dry contact side of this switch to any one of these four S terminals on this board, okay? So once I get that wired in and I got my, my, my wet switch placed, and it could easily be her other one, it's just the two wires that you normally break the red with. You're just gonna wire them directly into the S terminal on the module. Then we're gonna go to our installer options at our thermostat. We're gonna go to our setup and um, I'm gonna run through some setup features here that uh, because this is already set up, I'm just wanna get to uh, the part of the install that has my sensors. And it's asking me here, 
I've got a list, I've got four uh, choices on this thermostat of sensors. So I, I've got full drain pan alert, dirty filter alert, water leak alert, system shutdown, service needed or fan failure. I've also got one custom alert. So on the first one I wanna show you, if, if you take uh, one of these wet switches and you tie it to the drain pan, you wanna choose system shutdown on the Prestige or the Redlink 8000. And you're gonna go next. It's gonna ask you which one of these four S terminals are you tied to. I just happen to be tied to the S1 terminals uh, for the wet switch here. And I'm gonna go next. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell my, con my dry contact in, in, on, on this interface module, is the wet switch a normally open or a normally closed device? On this uh, hockey puck uh, WSK1, it's got a choice of either or. So however you do it here, you have to tell it that you've made it normally open or normally closed at the thermostat. Then it's gonna um, uh, it's gonna shut the system down. So that's all the setup you have to do. So I'm gonna do it one more time. System shutdown. Uh, tie the tie the wet switch into the S, uh, uh, whichever S terminal you're gonna use and then whether it's normally open or normally closed. And whenever that, um, that uh, 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 drain pan fills up with water, whether it's in the, the winter or the summer, it's gonna um, shut the system down from the thermostat, but not kill the power. Uh, the homeowner's gonna get a, um, an email saying that uh, you have no heat or you have no cooling at your house right now, which is a big deal, right? So if, uh, um, I can make decisions to, uh, to say, look, uh, let me call my contractor. Maybe they can meet me there at lunchtime. Because if I didn't do this, if I don't put these two products together, I would not know that, that my drain pan was full of water until I walked, uh, got home from work that evening and it was either too hot or too cold, right? So it just makes a lot of sense. So if I wanted to take um, and put this by a, a sump pump, let's say I had a sump pump crock sitting next to the equipment downstairs, then I'm gonna choose the custom alert and I'm gonna uh, uh, go next and pick the S terminal. Let's say I, I choose S2 uh, for this. I'm gonna tell it, ask it, you know, it's gonna ask me if it's normally open or closed contact. I'm gonna pick the appropriate one. Then it's because it's a custom alert, instead of it being a fixed name like drain pan full of water or system shutdown, this is gonna be some, I can type in uh, sump pump alert. So uh, the Prestige is just like a cell phone. It has a, a, a text feature. I'm gonna put sump pump alert. Uh, alert, if I can spell alert. And if um, I can edit that, but when the homeowner gets the check engine light, which means it's a big yellow block, a blob that comes up on the, on the screen, it's gonna say sump pump alert. Then I'm gonna say next, and I'm gonna type in a message like uh, call um, you know, uh, Tom Jackson Heating and Air to come uh, you know, for repair. So it becomes a, a, a message between you and your customer that um, Michelle's product caught a problem, kept it from being a bigger problem, and then our thermostat emailed uh, you and connected you to your homeowner quickly. When you're done, uh, that's all the setup there is. And then if, if you're, um, uh, when you save your changes, and then you're good to go. And on your home screen, this is, uh, um, it, it's just monitoring your system now. So very simple setup to do. Um, taking a product that um, a lot of people take, take uh, for granted, which is your float switch, which is a big protection in your home. Uh, uh, marrying this thing to uh, a control that, you know, and honestly, I, I've, been, I've, been, uh, I've been repping this product. We came out with this product in 2008. The EIM came out in 2013 or 12 or something. And, uh, or maybe a little earlier, but these features have already always been there and probably hardly ever used. And so what we wanna do with Michelle, Michelle, you wanna bring that over? Cause I want some of that, um, I already, right? I already felt it. Did you? Uh, did you eat some? Not yet. 
but um, <laughs> um, thanks for making a great product and 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 and, and um, taking my my great product and putting these two together. So thanks for the partnership. And if you have any questions, make sure you call Jackson Systems for either one of our two products.